Porter, what's happening today? I don't know. <laughs> what's who's coming today? Who's yeah. whose birthday is it? Um, Grams. No. Oh my goodness, you guys! I am in a tizzy right now. I'm like sweating. I can't stop smiling. It is Thursday, March thirtieth, and it might be our baby girl's birthday today. As you heard in my other vlogs, I was told that I was going to be put on a wait list starting on Thursday, March 30th. And if they had room at the hospital and an open bed, they would call me. If not, I would just have to keep waiting. And they said they call around 9 a.m. So this morning, I've been waiting, waiting, waiting for a call. Nine came and went. Nothing happened. Didn't think they were going to call. And then about 9.15, I got a call from the hospital. And it was, a, it was super cute. It was a guy on the phone and he was like, hey, uh, this is from the hospital. Uh, what are you doing today? <laughs> and I was like, um, not much, just waiting on a call. And he said, well, do you want to have a baby today? <laughs> and I was like, yes, 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 I do. <laughs> and he was like, okay, we're ready for you. So they told me to come in at noon, which is like perfect. I get the morning to finish packing, get the boys ready, all that. Grayson's at preschool. I can still go pick him up at 11.30, bring him here. My mom's gonna come watch the kids for me, do nap time and then take them to her house. And then Anthony and I are gonna go into the hospital at noon and have this baby. You guys, I am so pumped. I'm having my March baby. I was asking God for a sign like, Please let me know like if today's gonna be the day. And you guys, I kid you not, I got in my car this morning to take the take Grace into preschool. First song that is playing on the radio when I turn on my car is Best Day of My Life by American Authors. And I was like, I feel like this is a sign. I just feel like this is a sign. It was a sign and it's happening. You guys, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Oh, I'm not gonna be pregnant anymore. I'm gonna have a baby. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Okay, I gotta help Porter go potty. Okay, sorry about that. I had to help Porter go potty. I am so excited. I'm like pacing back and forth. I'm finishing packing everything. I double checked everything last night just in case it was gonna happen today. I'm so glad I did all that prep work yesterday because I was like, even if it doesn't happen, it needs to happen anyway. I've got my straightener plugged in. I'm going to straighten my hair. Maybe I'll put some makeup on. I just feel like I haven't had like a planned labor like that, like this since Grayson's because Porter, I had no idea it was going to happen. And I just love that I just have time to process and get everything ready. So please send me good vibes and I will try and vlog as much as I can throughout the day. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strove from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. There's the dragon. He's going bye-bye. I'm sorry. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog and down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be on that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the, dog, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The, the witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. That's a frog. That's the dog. That's the cat. Yeah. That's the bird. They're all happy. Love you. We're at the hospital. Got my IV. 
Here's Daddy. <laughs> I'm in the, the bed. Um, I'm still only like one centimeter dilated, but like 50% effaced, which is good, but yeah, it's gonna be a bit. <laughs> but they're super nice here and we have our room, so we're excited to get this show on the road. They have me hook up to the monitors, we hear the baby, so here's where baby's gonna go. She's been evicted. Yeah, that's all right. We're just waiting. I got my water. And they gave me up the new water. Anything to say? about five centimeters um, I got the epidural so I feel pretty dumb been a little bit since my last clip um I think in the last clip I was laying down with the peanut ball um things progressed really quickly they had me on each side and then they sat me up and that just did the trick and she came very fast after that um we had to wait for the doctor to come and then she came and I pushed like two times maybe and she came so we are, it's been a couple hours. She was born at 6.40. It's um, 9.20, almost 9.20 right now. And we are in our postpartum room. So we're just enjoying, relaxing. Um, I'm still hooked up to an IV. I'm getting Pitocin, but I'll show you baby girl. There she is. <laughs> Look at that little bow she's got on her head. It's not a good view of her, but <laughs> she's like facing the other way. But she is so sweet. She's so calm. She's barely cried at all. She's just so, so cute. We had to like triple check that she was actually a girl. She is a girl. <laughs> so that is good. Um, Anthony actually just ran out to get dinner because we are starving. We ate this morning at like 1030 and then we have not ate since. I mean, I have snacks that I brought, but that's it. And I'm not really that hungry, but Anthony is starving. So we ordered some Five Guys and Anthony went to go pick it up. So he'll be back in a little bit. But right now I'm just enjoying the calm and the quiet with the baby sleeping listening to her little squeaks um everything went well mom and baby are doing so good and yeah it was it was a great labor um i did get the epidural i feel good um and yeah we're just recovering <laughs> we are doing well the boys are gonna come visit tomorrow and see their baby sister I'm so excited for that. So my family members will come and visit as well. So that'll be super fun. I'll vlog a little bit of it, but 
um, for now I'm just gonna rest and wait for her to wake up and want to eat. I did nurse her once already on both sides, so I'm just waiting for her to get hungry again. They always say the first night is the easiest and then like the second night like they wake up and then they're like oh like i'm actually hungry all the time so it'll be interesting but um we've done it twice before so we can do it again so yeah everything went super well baby is here we're all happy healthy it was great it was awesome so she was born on march 30th 2023 at 6 40 p.m she is seven pounds four ounces so our tiniest baby um, and she was 21 and a half inches long i believe so she was very long 